The following program has been rated GE by the Kenya Film Classification Board. It is therefore suitable for general family viewing. Hello viewer, welcome to Chungucha Jami. My name is Betty Akuku, I'm your host. We are enjoying a lovely comfort from the Kenya Asian industry. This is hand woven furniture and it's of high quality. These guys are available at Mombasa Road. You could actually drive there and find them and get your sets, uh, get yourself a lovely set of this as well. Uh, today we are going to be talking about parenting in the digital era. I have a guest in studio. I also have a counselor who are going to help us flow this conversation. I wish to welcome you to introduce yourself. Thank you very much, Betty. Mm -hmm. My name is Shalom Muniri, and I'm a family mentor and coach. I basically work with parents, teachers, and children to help them connect and relate with each other. I'm also an author and teacher as well. Okay, look forward to the conversation. Welcome, Shalom. Mm -hmm. Any other counselor? Yeah, thank you. Uh, my name is Nelson Ochoga. I'm a pastor in Good News Mission. Uh, we are really uh, favored before you and also to receive your audience. Thank you. Okay. So, viewer, you could actually join us in this conversation. Our SMS line is 21144. And like I said, you're talking about parenting in the digital era. Shalom, mm -hmm. what precisely is parenting in this digital era? Please give us a brief introduction of mm -hmm. precisely what you do and what mm -hmm. this is. I'd say parenting in a digital era is very much the same as parenting in any other era. Okay. It's just become more public, it's become faster, and so any little mistake you make now is likely to be online within a few minutes of you making the mistake. Any triumph you have, mm -hmm. and basically what in, it, it, it's, the digital era has brought with it the challenge of parenting with gadgets in your life. I keep saying most children who are being born now, all children who are being born now, literally, are being born with a gadget as a competition. <laughs> because by the time the mother is breastfeeding, phone is in one hand, baby is in the other. So parenting in the digital era is really just about working through mm -hmm. this new angle that there is as far as making your parenting public. Okay. So, Akansela, we are in the digital era where gadgets are competing with us to do our chores. And as you hear, even as we are breastfeeding, one hand is holding the phone and another is breastfeeding the baby. How uh, would you describe such kind of a people living in this era? Uh, we are really very thankful because uh, God is wise and the wisdom of God is paramount. And uh, uh, there is the power which is found not with man, but mm -hmm. the power that is found with the spirit. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, that is the world where the heart of men are governed and controlled so that they get the power also to man what they are doing and what they intend to do. So even though we are in the era of uh, digits and also technology has advanced, but there's the power which is beyond that which is controlling the world in the world of technology. Mm -hmm. mm. Shalom, I like what you say that digit, uh, parenting in this digital era is just the same as parenting before. Mm. I don't know how true that is mm. because growing up, we never had mm. you know, this new person or this new thing that has come in mm. and is like competing mm with us to do what we need to do. Mm. So it's taking a lot of our time. It's taking a lot of our object. It's occupying, it's becoming part of our objectives mm -hmm. and we are neglecting what we need to do. Mm. I don't know why you say it's similar to the olden days. Well, what is the similarity is mm. parents are parents, right? Okay. So parenting really as a role has mm -hmm. not changed. Children are children. Mm -hmm. So when you are the child growing up, you were a child and you had a parent, right? Yes. They had the responsibility over your life mm -hmm. and you had your duty to obey, to listen, to grow. In essence, that has not changed at all. It has not changed. That has not changed. Uh, what, what thing I have seen is mm -hmm. a lot of parents are just parents because they brought forth. Yes. 
you know, biological. Yes, it's a function. Just because they brought forth, mm -hmm. but they are not really parenting their children. Yeah. Because I think that when you give birth, that is just the introduction of becoming a parent. Mm. But now your role is supposed to begin from there. Kulea. Do you yeah. think people are actually mm. doing this today? Um, they are, let me say they're doing it to the best of their ability. Mm -hmm. because when Which is not the right way. No, it's a, it is the right way. Okay. Parenting, you need to do it to the best of your ability. Mm -hmm. Because every time you're given that child by God, mm -hmm. without relying on him, everything else you're doing is really to the best of your ability. Everything is to the best of yes. your ability. Yes. Um, and so you find that why I'm saying that in defense of today's digital parent mm -hmm. is that they are also faced with the same challenge. Mm -hmm. You see, when that child is born, they don't have a phone. Okay. It's the mom or dad who has the phone. Mm -hmm. Now, the mom or dad has a phone and their bosses know that they have a phone. Mm -hmm. So even employers today know that they can reach their employee after five. Okay. So what I'm trying to say <laughs> is that the parent has challenges, not just with parenting, mm -hmm. but their whole life really is being influenced by what technology has become mm -hmm. and what technology has done. Mm -hmm. So the challenge is also different. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I need to know, Pastor, whether uh, living in the digital era is by any chance something weird or a bad thing that happened to people in the world from your pastoral perspective. Uh, living in the digital era is the best era <laughs> for doing spiritual and doing ministry. Okay. In fact, it is the best era mm -hmm. where even a parent can parent in the absence here of his physical being with the child. Mm -hmm. uh, living in the digital era is the best era mm -hmm. because it is a place where, for example, mm -hmm. my wife is in abroad mm -hmm. and uh, we are always talking. Mm -hmm. So her being in abroad is like, why? It's just some meters away from me. Mm -hmm. So just a c one call away. Okay. So we are able to talk, we are able to see how, oh, how can we solve this problem? Mm -hmm. So it is the best. You can but actually communicate. Yes. And, and you can also call back home and mm. say, ask how, is, how are the children. Mm. That's What's where I totally disagree. That's where you totally disagree. That's where I totally disagree. <laughs> I'm going to take the parenting angle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If your child falls down and hurts themselves, and the only way you can see that is through a screen, how have you made that child feel better? How does that exchange from that loving touch that a mother will have around that injury? Mm -hmm. So you're basically saying that having this, what I'm saying living in this area, parenting is, is this not way, the best. It is has not the best. It actually worked against relationships. Yes, there are those conveniences okay. of, like you're saying, mm -hmm. she's just a phone call away. Mm -hmm. You cannot hug over the phone. Mm -hmm. You cannot, <laughs> you can't hug her. You can't hug her. They over can't the shake phone. hands. You can't shake hands. There's you no feeling. That there's no feeling. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a human connection okay. that has been taken away by the phone mm -hmm. or by the gadgets, mm -hmm. even when it has made it um, possible for us to keep in touch with each other. Mm -hmm. So let's say you can say that talking on the phone, there was a time it was only a phone and you could only imagine what the other person is feeling like or yes. looking like. Mm -hmm. Now you you're able see. to video call. Yes. So that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. But hey, how would you replace a video call with being with there physically with a kiss yes. with a high five mm -hmm. when your child does very well in school mm -hmm. there's a difference between holding up your report card to a screen yeah and mom actually Coming giving a to. hug dad giving a high five because mm -hmm. they have made it yeah so for me I believe it is not the best time mm -hmm. it is challenging it mm -hmm. has its conveniences it mm -hmm. has its efficiencies mm -hmm. But I think it, that's why families are getting a beating. Okay. Because I don't have to be there. You don't have to be there. I don't have to be Shalom, there. Shalom, how long? How long have you? There. How long have you done this? What you do? Uh, not the digital one because digital is okay. more recent. Okay. But in terms of working with families, children, mm -hmm. it's been about twenty years now. Twenty actively. years. Actively. Mm -hmm. yes. Twenty years. Mm -hmm. Just mentoring children. Just mentoring children and families and, families, and yes. making them have the connections. How has this experience been for you? Because mm -hmm. uh, whereas Pastor is saying that the digital era has been it's the, the perfect one mm -hmm. when he compares, you know, probably where he has come from. Mm -hmm. And if his wife was abroad now and they were not able to communicate, it would be, you know, he would be so lonely. And that's what I'm saying. The efficiencies yes. mm -hmm. and the conveniences mm -hmm. are great. 
Okay. Yes. But now you are disagreeing with the bit that this the digital best. is actually replacing yes. what we honestly ought to do, yes. even as the parents at home, mm. right? Yes. So, uh, what importance then mm. has this era brought into the family, into the family like the setup? Family dynamics. Yes. Um, I like to try and imagine. Remember, in the Bible, in Deuteronomy 6-7, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. basically talks about when you should share these commands with your kids. Okay. Yes, it talks mm -hmm. about passing on the commands. Love the Lord your God with all your mm -hmm. strength and all that. And yeah. then it says, teach this to your children. Mm -hmm. When? Mm -hmm. When they wake up, when they mm -hmm. lie down, as they walk. You know, yeah. it, it's talking about the daily life mm -hmm. of a child. Yeah. So what happens when you wake up? There used to be a time when parents would be the ones waking up their children. Yes. Or... The children were responsible enough because it has been grown in them mm -hmm. to wake up by themselves. Mm -hmm. Now it doesn't matter. There's a phone somewhere which has an alarm. <laughs> yeah, it will wake me up. Yeah. Let's move to selection of house help. So just jump through several things. Mm -hmm. Now to pick a house, there's a time when mm -hmm. we were getting house helps. Now that many years ago. Yeah. We got connections from our relatives, or mm -hmm. you know, we knew where this person is it's coming from. from. What do we do now? Walk into a bureau. Yes. And because we have nanny come. Mm -hmm. You put a stranger in your home, mm -hmm. but then record every movement. Yes. So with a CCTV. With a CCTV. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what are we doing? We're not relating as humans. Mm -hmm. We're basically using each other for convenience. Okay? So then you want your child to go to school. Mm -hmm. Put them on a school bus because you need to go to work and anyway, there's yes. no time. Mm -hmm. Already you have cut off one portion of a time in your day mm -hmm. when you could be passing on your values to this child. Okay. Now, when they're on that bus... They're heading out to school. Mm -hmm. They're riding behind the matatus. What, do the, what kind of messaging do those matatus have? Now, who's there with that child to help them decipher what it is that they're seeing? Mm -hmm. So when they see this nice, cool guy with golden teeth or a child or a girl who looks a certain <laughs> way, and that's what he's seeing or she's seeing, mm -hmm. they're forming an opinion. And when you're not there as a parent to have a conversation and guide them and tell them, uh, this is what this is all about. This is what this is showing. This is the purpose of media. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not having that conversation with your child. Mm -hmm. You're leaving them at the mercy of whatever is out there mm -hmm. to learn whatever it is they want to learn. Mm -hmm. So, because they're very curious, mm -hmm. so their curiosity is going to be satisfied by whatever comes in at they that time. They will discuss it with the kid who's next to them. Yes. And you have no control as a parent mm -hmm. of who the kid next to your own child is. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you don't know where they're coming from or what they're learning and their background. I get you. Mm -hmm. Pastor, do you think we have control over our children mm -hmm. such that when they're out of our hands, we can actually guide that, you know, uh, from this time to this time they'll be in school and when they come home I'll be able to do this. Do we have control over raising our children? Uh, there's something that we really need to know. Mm -hmm. uh, as the world is developing, and also as some rights are also coming in in the life of parents, mm -hmm. and also because of some financial constraints, mm -hmm. uh, people they tend also to deviate from what is called hand-to-hand uh, 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 -hand or close relations of a parent and children. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the world has gone to the world where a mother is working, father is working. And then when mother is working, father is working, there are some things that a mother cannot do in close relations to the children, even a father. Uh, as compared to the olden days, the olden days, many people, they were not going far. Furthermore, they were not very busy. Mm -hmm. Even education was not there. So always they were having close contacts with their children. Mm -hmm. Or if not, mothers, they were always at home with what? Children. But now because of the economy and technology, and constraints in finance, people they tend like, ah, mother should also work, mm -hmm. husband also work. Then how about children? Then children then, things have been developed. Now transportation from school, many other things like this. So these things will always happen. But the word of God still remains the word of God. Mm -hmm. Then this is where now, uh, whichever angle people may think, parents also they need to be parented continuously. How are they parented? <laughs> <laughs> they are parented by the church. They are parented by institutions. They are parented by many things that are around them also. Con <laughs> their parenting has no end. And that's why, that's why we have seminars. That's why we have uh, 
uh, meetings. But Con after these parents you are saying should be parented mm. are the ones who are also busy. They don't have this time. This is why at they have a nanny come, they have all these things in their we homes. Church, Here is home. where technology has come mm -hmm. to totally do what he's saying. So to, to, technology so this, has come to, to replace. Solve that problem. Not okay. just to replace, to, to solve, solve the problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because parents need parenting. Mm -hmm. Technology <laughs> has come. So to they solve have that to problem. ask so here Mr. Is what Google, happens. how do I do Mr. this? Mr. Google will always, Dr. Google, you know, his doctor, his mister, okay. mm -hmm. his brother, mm -hmm. his brother his, whatever sister. it is you want him to be, <laughs> mm -hmm. he will, will be. be. Yes. yes. He or she. Yes, it, he it will, will be. be. Exactly. And so, uh, so let's say parent w needs parenting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they no longer have, before I could go to my father and ask him, mm -hmm. you know, hey, give my me an children. idea of, yes. yeah, I could mm -hmm. go to my mom and ask her, mm -hmm. give me an idea, what, what would you do? Mm -hmm. Now that's no longer there because even the relationships have mm -hmm. changed. Mm -hmm. So what do I do? Get on WhatsApp yes. and ask a group. Mm -hmm. Nowadays there is mums in every there is Kilimani, Siokima, da da da. There are mums everywhere. So <laughs> just get on that group. And, and all these things have what come because think? of this challenge at home. Exactly. Mm -hmm. What do you think mm -hmm. I should do? Mm -hmm. So from Google to the groups we are in, we are seeking help from technology yes to do that thing so yes parenting parents need parenting mm -hmm. they have we are clueless on what to do let me not even say they i'm a parent myself mm -hmm. we are clueless on what, what we, we should do, do. Yeah. so often enough we're going to find ourselves looking for answers mm -hmm. and my father never parented in an era like the one i'm parenting of course not. so when i'm bringing up my teenager now mm -hmm. he has no clue what to do with a teenager of today your father does not know. No, he doesn't know. No, he doesn't. So, who knows? Maybe somebody out there in the world knows. And that's who? what technology has done. Mm -hmm. It has put me in touch. If I needed an uh, answer from Australia, mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. can get it. Yes. You if can I get an, an idea from, from Holland. From, yes. If I needed an answer from the US, mm -hmm. it's just a click away. Mm -hmm. So technology has opened up my world as a parent to solutions from Different I hear you, Shalom. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of our days, uh, or yes. even your days. Mm -hmm. You know, there are things that were a no-go zone in the home. Mm -hmm. You know, such as there are things like, you would not have a conversation about sex in your home. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you did, but in our home, mm -hmm. such things you could not mention. I mean, even my father never mentioned anything like that to us. Yes. And if you dared, I, I don't even know if someone dared. Those yeah. things we didn't mention. Now, but now yeah. our eight-year-olds, our five-year-olds mm -hmm. are having these conversations. Mm -hmm. And because we did not go through the same, mm -hmm. we don't know what to tell them. Exactly. Yes, because so this is why we are lost. So what are we supposed to do? We have to, you, to search. Because nobody talked to you as a parent. Yes. Sorry, nobody talked to you as a child mm -hmm. about sex. Yes. Then you didn't grow up expecting a parent to talk to a child about sex. Yes. True. And so when you became the grown-up yourself, mm -hmm. and now you have a child to bring up, mm -hmm. you do not know what or how to talk to them. So I asked Mr. Sex. Google. So you ask Mr. Google. Pastor, what am no. I supposed to do? I, mm. I also believe that in your days, mm. your parents never mentioned such things to yes. you. When now your daughter comes to you and tells you like, I like that boy, that boy is cute, mm -hmm. or I like that girl, I really want to try out, you know? Mm -hmm. So in this case, are you supposed to beat? Are you supposed to spank your children no. for these things? Please understand she says that your that child has you need also to go. To Google. You have to go to Mr. Google, right? You don't have to. That is what people do. Pastor, what are people supposed to do? Good. Mm -hmm. uh, in the world where people are growing up, uh, the reason why Cain has also grown meaningless <laughs> is because <laughs> you cannot confine. Why? Uh, there are so many things that have been exposed to the people. For example, we have the child right, and now a child knows that at the age of 18, I am an adult, and I can live my life, and they know that for sure. Then, what should you do? Because if you go the rough way, then also they will also go the rough way, and then you would have lost. Then what do you do? Yeah, exactly. Then, what do I do? In such a case, mm -hmm. this is where now you need the divine connection, divine power, divine work of God. So I pray for them. Because, listen, mm -hmm. why? Because you cannot say, hey, don't use this gadget. Mm -hmm. Don't use this gadget. Mm -hmm. They have them. They can borrow them. They can use them. Mm -hmm. They can go to the cyber. Mm -hmm. So whether you say don't use, don't use, mm -hmm. that is not important. Mm -hmm. What is important is there is the power of the word. If they are able to listen to the word, mm -hmm. and now that word will always govern and guide. Mm -hmm. And also parents, 
If parents, they don't have any activity that they can give to their children, then how about the church where they go? If the church has activities which they can give to their children, then this is the only way to regulate, to tame, and to guide. Otherwise, with the rules and commandments and laws, this cannot work in today's era. So with the rules, it cannot work. It I, cannot shall I you say? disagree. With you the disagree. Rules. With rules, it works. I believe. Every what do you mean? Parent, because I want. I, I, I'm wondering mm. when you say that I shouldn't go to Mr. Google mm -hmm. and get this information. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. yet I know Mr. Google has them mm -hmm. because we were not told by our parents how to teach our children these things. Mm -hmm. They did not foresee this coming. Mm -hmm. We also didn't know. So there was no school of parenting where mm -hmm. I was supposed to learn these things. So it has come, and yes. technology has the answer. Yes. I shouldn't go there. What are your reasons? I want to agree with Pastor on one thing. Okay. The child has a huge role okay. to play mm -hmm. in this. Mm -hmm. The word of God has not changed and it's not going to be changed by technology. True, I agree. Right? Mm -hmm. So I believe every parent has to decide what it is they want from their child or out of their child. Mm -hmm. You need to have a picture or a vision mm -hmm. of who you want your child to become okay. when they grow older. Mm -hmm. Now, like I said, technology is not a bad thing. I use Google practically every single day. Mm -hmm. However, I don't use Google to guide me I use how Google to. to fill in certain gaps. If I want my son to grow up to be a responsible man, I don't need Google to show me how. Because I have a clear picture of what responsibility is. Mm -hmm. When I'm a Bible-believing Christian, mm -hmm. I will seek the wisdom that pastor is talking about. Mm -hmm. From that word. And that becomes my first guide. Mm -hmm. Then, by the time I'm getting into Google, to ask this or the other is to ask about activities that can engage him, mm -hmm. is to ask about opportunities he has for internship mm -hmm. and such like places, mm -hmm. is to ask things mm -hmm. that are going to add value to something that I have already decided I want to do. Mm -hmm. So when you don't have values as a parent, mm -hmm. you can't blame technology for giving your child alternative values. But Shalom, if all parents had values to pass on to their children, mm -hmm. no one would be consulting Dr. Google. You get what I'm saying? No one would. Part, yeah. So why mm -hmm. is everybody running to Google? Because they don't have the values. Mm -hmm. Even though they go to church, they purport to be Christians, how come they're not able to guide their children in the biblical principles as you're saying? Mm -hmm. You know? So why do we have this confusion, Pastor? I, I, is there a problem I, yeah. with yeah. the church? Is there the, an imbalance somewhere? Mm, there's no problem with the church. Mm -hmm. There's the problem with the, the initial position of the children. That is home home so okay. the heart of a parent where is the heart of a parent if the heart of a parent is in church then the child will follow suit but if the heart of the parent is in gaining the wealth of the world also the child will follow suit so the biggest problem is parents they are busy busy for what like the question for providing for their children for providing for their children mm. that's why a child will not understand parent saying go to church while a parent is always on the company or in any other business looking for money. And that money once it comes back home, mm -hmm. that money is for what? It is goes beyond the basic needs. Mm -hmm. It goes to the what? The world of luxury. Mm -hmm. It goes to the world of necessity. Mm -hmm. And then in the world of luxury and necessity, a parent will buy one or two phones. One will remain at home. The other one he has gone with it. This one at home, the child is not busy, I do at home. What will the child do at home? Then the child will embark on this. So a parent should have one thing. The child should be made busy. Mm -hmm. Made busy where? Yeah. Made busy with the people who have values. And the right values can be get, gotten where? Can be only gotten in the church. That's why children should be guided to the church, where they can be monitored, where they can be pastored, and sent home or school, during schooling. And then when the child is busy, even there's no time for such gadgets. Mm. But when the child is idle, then maximum time they have for such, and they will search more than even what the parent is able to search. Mm. Shalom, uh, I'd asked you earlier mm. where we should seek for the solutions mm -hmm. to this kind of questions we get mm. today from our children. Mm -hmm. You mentioned you're a parent. Mm -hmm. I don't know how old your children are mm. but I'm thinking that today we have struggles with even the younger children yes, who are coming up with very tricky mm. questions mm -hmm. you're wondering where do these children learn these things from mm. 
there are children who are not even exposed into the neighborhood, mm -hmm. but they are learning a lot of things. Mm -hmm. When children come to you with such kind of questions, mm -hmm. how are you supposed to answer them based on what? Yeah. Because parenting is not just for Bible believers. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when people, when children come to you, mm -hmm. is all you're supposed to say is read the Bible, no. get your guidance from the Bible, fact, you've no. got to go to church? No. Yes. Because so. they do not know how to do that. Exactly. Even when, if they when, read these words, yes. it would be so vague. There's this thing we joke about and say, monkey see, monkey do. Mm -hmm. You cannot tell your child to go to church or to read the Bible, mm -hmm. as Pastor was saying, yes. if you're not going yourself. Mm -hmm. They are going to do what they are seeing you do. do. Yes. So first and foremost, there's no way you're going to succeed if you're not leading by example. True. Let's just start with leading by example. Mm -hmm. Now to the question of where are children getting some of these things from? Yeah. Where are they getting uh, the exposure? Mm -hmm. And when they come home with those questions, mm -hmm. they're getting it from their friends from their friends. Even if we think about when we were growing up, mm -hmm. we always came home with interesting ideas that we had picked from the neighborhood. They were not necessarily as scandalous as they are today mm -hmm. because, you know, we are talking about more sex than, you know, how to cut up slippers, for instance. It depends on where you grew up. Mm -hmm. But children have always gotten information from their peers. That's a natural thing. Mm -hmm. Now, what's happening is when parents say or when parents do not know what to talk about with their children, how to talk about sex with their children. Mm -hmm. This curious child is going to go and look for the information somewhere else. Okay. And they are going to find it. Definitely. They will always find it. When you're looking for information, you find it. Mm -hmm. Now, the question is, mm -hmm. is it the right information? Is it packaged in the right way or mm -hmm. not? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you, and you keep asking, what should a parent do? Yes. First and foremost, I think parents need to take back control of their homes. Okay. And that's where I totally Which agree is with Pastor. neglected for the now. The home has been neglected. Okay. Um, I'm yet to meet somebody who chose to focus on their family, and once the kids were grown up, they did not catch up with their careers or their lives, etc. There's something, I don't know, and I guess it comes from the part that I am a Christian. I mm -hmm. believe God has our backs. Okay. And I believe that, and, and this is not necessarily in the Christianese way, I sincerely believe that God wants the best for our children, and therefore he will orchestrate things to work out for, for you. Them. Mm -hmm. But we have become impatient. So when I have an eight-year-old, if I'm the parent of an eight-year-old today, I, I look at my life as the opportunities I'm losing because I have to focus on this eight-year-old. Mm -hmm. I do not consider that I'm going to be with this child for 18 years, mm -hmm. And after that, they're out in that world. Mm -hmm. And if this child lives from 18 to 100, it means I have how many more years? 82. That child, that child yeah. has 82 more years of life. Mm -hmm. And a lot of their adult life, God giving me life, is going to be with them. So I keep asking, what kind of young adult do you want to interact with later on in life? Mm -hmm. So when I'm looking at my, so my youngest is now 16. Okay. But when I was looking at them as they were growing up, I kept asking myself, so when they're 24, so when I'm looking at a four-year-old, I'm thinking, when you're 24, will I even want to hang out with you? And not just me, will the world want to hang out with you? And then I brought up that four-year-old with the characters, characteristics and values that would help them succeed as a 24-year-old. When you're guiding your eight-year-old on a sex question, mm -hmm. it's not about the eight-year-old having sex. It's about decisions, sexuality decisions that this kid will make that will affect who they become at 18, mm -hmm. who they are at 28, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. who are they as they're growing up? Mm -hmm. And then what is a parent to do? We are busy, granted. We forgot about the village. We used to say that it takes a village to raise a child. Yes. It still takes a village to raise a child. Yeah. And but now that saying, is long gone. No, it's not long gone. In, I mean, it is in not our long setup. Gone. That is what technology has come to do. Mm -hmm. Technology has presented and provided an online village for our children. The village <laughs> did not go away. The digital <laughs> just village. Yes, it the moved digital from village, mm -hmm. to which online. is no longer people but yes. gadgets. Yes, mm -hmm. we used to have Auntie Nani. There was Auntie Mary, Auntie Jane, who could talk to you. Now we have Auntie Acid, who can give you nice tips on what to do. I know. Do you get? Yes. Uh, what I'm saying is, the village did not go away. It just moved online, and now as a parent, you have to be so intentional about what you want and how you want your child to engage with that. Responsibility, respect, you know, resilience. Those are things that we are not teaching our children 
and they need them whether they're offline or online, whether they're Christian or non-Christian. So the parenting role, that's why I keep saying the parenting role hasn't changed. We just have now this thing called technology and digital era that we feel we need to blame so that we don't get our job done. Okay. Yes. I get you. Mm. Viewer, we are taking a short break. Our SMS line is still double one double four. Remember to pass by Mombasa Road today and check out on this lovely set at Kenya Asian Industry. It's Anduven and it's of very high quality. Uh, we're talking about parenting the digital era and as you have been watching, you can actually see that we have been blaming technology for the wrong reasons. We are the ones who have neglected our duties and our roles as parents. We are coming back shortly. Bless them, bless them. A Bon Black production. TJ, this is a prayer to all the candidates. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bless them, Papa, bless them. Bless them, Jehovah, bless them. Bless them, Jesus, bless them. Bless them. Bless them, bless them, Papa, bless them, bless them, Jehovah, bless them, bless them, Jesus, bless them, bless them, bless them. God wipe them tears when them crying, rescue them when them dying, assist those who are trying. Oh my God, ooh, ooh, bless them. Lord, give them strength in their weakness. Forgive them, Lord, for their wickedness. And heal them in their sickness. Oh, my God, bless them. Bless them now. Bless them. Lord, give them comfort in their troubles. And power down your miracles. Bless them, Papa. Bless them. Bless them, Jehovah. Bless them. Bless them, Jesus, bless them, bless them, bless them, bless them, Papa, bless them, bless them, Jehovah, bless them, bless them, Jesus, bless them, bless them, bless them. We have come this far because of your mercy, we are gathered here today because you're almighty, and where are we going is your planning. Oh my God, Ebenezer, don't strengthen their memory. And give them wisdom, knowledge, and you are understanding. Oh my God, provider, Lord, set them free from their fears. And lend us your ears, Messiah, and answer our prayers this year. Oh my God, Hosanna, bless them, Papa, bless them. Bless them, Jehovah, bless them. Bless them, Jesus, bless them. Bless them, bless them. Bless them, Papa, bless them. Bless them, Jehovah, bless them. Bless them, Jesus, bless them. Bless them, bless them. Bless them, Papa, bless them. Bless them, Jehovah, bless them. Bless them, Jesus, bless them, bless them, bless them. Bless them, Papa, bless them, bless them, Jehovah, bless them. Bless them, Jesus, bless them, bless them, bless them. Welcome back, viewer. Our SMS line is 21144. We are talking about parenting in the digital era. Uh, we are flowing this conversation with our guest, Shalom, who has been in this industry for 20 years, mentoring children and parents and teaching them the same things that us parents have neglected all this time. We also have a counselor. Uh, thank you. Shalom, uh, you had mentioned earlier that you do not blame technology. And our pastor was saying technology is one of the best things that happened. Mm. I get a clash because it is good and bad. Pastor, what is the ad disadvantage of technology that you would point out in this era in regards to parenting? Uh, good. Uh, I'll go back to one. I'll not go to the technology. 
<laughs> to go to the gadgets. Mm -hmm. It is the intention of the person using the gadgets that matters most, not the gadgets itself. Okay. So what is the intention of the one going to the gadget? Mm -hmm. If your intention is to see evil things, then you will see evil things. So uh, the good things find you on Google. You don't go looking for them. Uh, mm -hmm. What I know is, mm. uh, as I use those gadgets also, uh, in many occasions, there are gadgets that you may use. Mm -hmm. And uh, the intention of the user is really very important. Okay. Because even as you walk on the way, you will meet with things and your eye is always there to see. Mm -hmm. So you choose what to see and what not to see. You <laughs> choose what to, in, what to concentrate on mm -hmm. and what not to concentrate on. Mm -hmm. So we cannot say gadgets, some things will pop up. Mm -hmm. So what, what, what do you want to see? What was your intention of doing that? As a child, you're very curious. Curiosity of children. So because you're talking about parenting in the digital age, mm -hmm. for the parent, it includes a simple instruction like telling them, click on the X. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. a four-year-old will understand what an X looks like. Yes. And a four-year-old will understand when it comes up, click on the X. X. Mm -hmm. Then it's simple things like not having autoplay on. Mm -hmm. It's simple things like monitoring, mm -hmm. you know. So the parent still needs to be there even to do that the simple thing. The parent needs thing. to be there. Okay. Now, I still believe that a child should not be left online on their own because mm -hmm. they, they're not mentally able to sift through what's good, what's bad. They mm -hmm. don't have that discipline of the heart yet. Mm -hmm. But as a parent, you're supposed to be guiding them to the point where they have that discipline mm -hmm. of the heart. Mm -hmm. So if you want your child, like now, technology has provided lots of videos that are educational that you can just download on YouTube, right? Yes. I would suggest download the videos and have them watched offline. Have them watched offline. Not subscribe for your child to be able to access, let's say, YouTube for kids mm -hmm. and then leave them to just watch it. Mm -hmm. Because if you leave them on YouTube for kids, mm -hmm. a few Things uh, will pop videos up down yes. the line, mm -hmm. they'll be watching pornography. Mm -hmm. Now, pornography used to be about real humans doing real things. Yes. Now, cartoons are doing the same things. Wow, so that's so crazy. Who have I need to yeah. know from you, mm -hmm. Pastor, at what age are you able to have the heart control or heart discipline for a child? Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, I'm a parent. Mm -hmm. I have three children. And uh, uh, the first phone that I bought to my first born mm -hmm. was after she had joined college. Mm -hmm. And also, the second phone that I bought to my second born, mm -hmm. I bought immediately one week after he had finished his Form 4 mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. So that is when I could. But whenever I could go ho home, mm -hmm. I could always say, television off. Mm -hmm. Even myself, I don't watch television. Mm -hmm. I don't have time for television. Mm -hmm. Then if I don't have time for television, how about them? They should not even have a click of it. Mm -hmm. but so you bought the phones yeah. after they had completed school. Form 4. Uh, do you have guarantee that before this they were unable to access? Mm -hmm. Good. I have my wife mm -hmm. and also uh, because this from they are day scholars mm -hmm. from school uh, mm -hmm. from home mm -hmm. to school, mm -hmm. school, home. Mm -hmm. And then in between, mm -hmm. if in case they can access, they can access from a friend. But also that friend in the school where they are going to, mm -hmm. it is a school which they prohibit people having You said phones. your phones. Yes. Shalom, I need to know precisely from you. Mm -hmm. There are lots of children who are denied access. Mm -hmm. They do not have their own phones. In their homes, actually I know people who have had to cut off Wi-Fi mm -hmm. because their children are having access. Mm -hmm. You know, just is it okay mm -hmm. to deny access and do you have guarantee mm -hmm. that even though you have denied your children gadgets they are not able to access information when they're outside there or without you the short answer is no okay uh when you and i'm not trying to say that go ahead and buy your children gadgets okay that's going to be a very individual choice mm -hmm. each home has its different dynamics the children different dynamics so i i never say that there's a hard fast rule about this is when to get your child a phone, a phone. Mm -hmm. but for those who decide to withdraw the phone or take the phone away yes other parents have not done that to their children mm -hmm. so it, your child will still get access to a phone if they really really want to yeah. when you disconnect wi-fi your neighbor hasn't mm -hmm. so all it takes is a walk down the road mm -hmm. and they can have access to Wi-Fi. Okay. So so it doesn't even help you much? It doesn't help it's, you there's much. There's nothing you're doing. I mean, not really. Mm -hmm. There is something you're doing if you're accompanying it with conversations. 
Okay. Because when you deny your child a phone, and everybody else around them has a phone, mm -hmm. question is why? Are you answering that question? Yes. Why are you taking away why the phone? Why are you phone? taking away the phone? Why are you disconnecting what the Wi-Fi? What are you afraid of? Mm -hmm. What are you preventing them from? What are you protecting them from? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, if you just take it away because you watch something on TV that said this is what teenagers are doing online, yes. then you take away the phone from your teenager, mm -hmm. Then the curiosity is still there. Exactly. They are still going to find out. The curiosity hasn't gone away. Mm -hmm. You haven't instilled. I go back to what values are you instilling in your child? Mm -hmm. You haven't taught them self-control. You haven't taught them to put aside their phone to do their homework, for instance, or the other things that the gadgets are cutting and interfering with. Mm -hmm. You haven't told them the dangers that you think are going to be online and what they're going to do about them. Mm -hmm. Because, yes, you may delay it until they're 18. Now, once they're 18, they've left your home and they're in campus. What they do is play catch up. And we all know, even when we were growing up, technology or no technology, when people got into campus, if they had never met boys, they had grown up in the convent schools or whatever else, this was a time to discover. And there were those who continued on the straight and narrow, and there were those who went totally way off. Mm. So what I'm saying is, cutting the Wi-Fi, denying the gadget, trying to do all of this, I call them superficial restrictions. Mm -hmm. The protective mom. Mm -hmm. Yes, this protective mom or dad. Mm -hmm. You're not helping if you're not having a conversation. Because mm -hmm. when your child goes to school, for instance, and they're the only ones who have a phone, and their friend asks, why don't you have a phone? The child who knows why they do not have a phone will say, it's because in our family we believe this and this and the other. Mm -hmm. But there's a child who's going to say, my mom is just old-fashioned and mean. <laughs> So what is the perception Old that your child... Old and mean yes, mom. Yes, yes. Pastor, how do you think the children should be trained to be able to overcome this kind of uh, habit such that when they go to a place where everybody else has a phone except you? Because like your children, they only had a phone after. So when other children uh, had phones who were their friends and they interacted, what answer did you prepare them to give? Because... They are going to say things like, my mom is and my dad is old-fashioned. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And it's not going to prevent them from doing actually what they want to do. Remember, you are calling me a pastor. <laughs> and what is the work of a pastor? The work of a pastor is not to instill rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. But the work of a pastor is to instill their heart, to transfer their heart. Uh, as you know very well, that Many people, they just instill rules and regulations without sharing heart. And now, the most important thing mm -hmm. is not to instill a rule or something, but first, what are the disadvantages and advantages of such a thing mm -hmm. at, at such a particular time? Then, when people understand what you mean, then even themselves, they will help you do it. Okay. Themselves, they will help you do it. Why? Because they would have understood uh, the reason why this thing is happening. For example, as I am a pastor, uh, there are some things that myself I have to be, I have to instill in myself. And then, if somebody asks me, "How about this and that? Why are you not doing like this?" Ah, I believe like this. How about you? Ah, me, I believe like this. Okay, you, you believe like that it is good. But to me, I believe like this. So the way people understand, and the way people relate, and the way people do things also determine the individual and determine the person and from where he has grown through. Mm -hmm. So you will find people they may be in the worst or in the corrupted environment mm -hmm. but still they are maintained in that such. Why? Because of that which is inside. Oh, yeah. So that which is inside is the most powerful. Mm -hmm. uh, not what was like uh, regulated on them or ruled on them yeah. but that which comes from within their heart. Mm -hmm. within their heart. That is the most important thing mm -hmm. because once it comes within their heart and it is the one which is going to rule over their life. Mm -hmm. So most important is not telling them do this or don't do that but as you are bringing them up, how did you instill in their hearts the values of life and the values of discipline so that even though they grow up, they still will be in that line. Okay, Shalom, there are parents who are actually very busy and once in a while, they're able to find time and be together with their parents. Mm -hmm. What kind of conversations are they supposed to have with their children whom they have denied mm -hmm. the gadgets mm -hmm. and are able to have access elsewhere? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. What kind of what kind of conversations are they supposed to? So have? you're saying that they're too busy? Yes. They don't usually have time. No. They've taken away the gadget. Yeah. And then now occasionally they get some time mm -hmm. and they want to have a conversation. Yes. And the children are able to find access of the gadgets elsewhere. And the children have already home. had access. Yes. First and foremost, depending on the age of the child, mm -hmm. it's highly unlikely that there's any conversation that's going to happen. Okay. Because children thrive mm -hmm. on relationship. Um, there's a saying that says people don't want to know how much you know until they know how much you care. Okay. So if you have, they don't want to know how, how much, much you, you know. know. Yes. So they only want things, to know how you, much you, know you care. You know how dangerous the internet is. That's your problem. You know what the, and I'm speaking on behalf of children. Mm -hmm. You know how dangerous it is. Mm -hmm. You don't even care about me. So if as a parent, mm -hmm. you don't even have the time to show your child that you care. You care. Mm -hmm. If you have not built a relationship with them, mm -hmm. you're not going to hold a meaningful conversation mm -hmm. in the few minutes that you have out of your busy schedule. Mm -hmm. They will let you talk, they will listen, and they will move on to the life that they have while you're busy living yours. By the way, you mentor children. Mm. So do the children give you feedback a of the things that happen in their home? Remember, the things they're not able to tell their parents? Remember, I'm not a child. <laughs> so what I know about what's going on in children's, mm -hmm. children's lives mm -hmm. is coming from the children themselves. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. um, there is something many teenagers believe that if the parent comes down on them with a rule, mm -hmm. it's because they've heard about it from somebody else. Wow. Okay. They know that. They know that. They know that. Mm -hmm. Most teenagers mm -hmm. know that. My mom got it from somewhere. They know that okay. somebody somewhere said something. Okay. And they are talking to their friends mm -hmm. and being told, just wait. She'll have forgotten in two weeks. Really? And mm -hmm. over and over, our parents are not failing us. Why? You're too busy to even stay and enforce your own rules. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. So if your child already has access and you had denied them the gadget, mm -hmm. I don't know what your conversations are going to be about unless you're going to start building a relationship mm -hmm. over time mm -hmm. to the point where then you have the authority mm -hmm. to guide them. So do you allow mm -hmm. the gadgets? Do I allow the gadgets? Yes. I have allowed the gadgets. Okay. Remember, my youngest right now is 16. 16. And they got their gadgets. The older one is there's 24 and there's 22. Mm -hmm. So they got their gadgets at different ages yes. because the world was also changing. Mm -hmm. You know, as they were growing, the 22-year-old, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. when he was 10, his life was totally different mm -hmm. from when the 16-year-old was 10. Yes. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so and I wonder if the younger one did not struggle to also have the same thing when you were giving to the older one. Actually, the older one is the one who feels like they suffered. Because they got theirs at an older age yes. than the younger one. Okay. And again, because times had changed. Mm -hmm. But for me, my rule was never attached to a time or year or age mm -hmm. or, you know, you finished class, this mm -hmm. or the other. Mm -hmm. It had to do with, are you ready to have a gadget? And some of the markers... So you had to do a preparation yes. to confirm. Yes. I need to know how you checked. You, know, you cannot succeed online okay. as far as parenting and relationships is concerned mm -hmm. if you haven't succeeded offline. Okay. And so I, I basically thought to teach offline values, if okay. I may call them that. Mm -hmm. At that time, they were not. I wasn't thinking of them as offline. Yes. But things like accountability. Mm -hmm. I started teaching accountability from the minute they could walk out of that house without me. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Even if it is playing in the neighborhood, mm -hmm. there was a rule. And mm -hmm. that's why I say mm -hmm. rules are still very applicable, because I feel rules set boundaries yeah. and help help your child develop that self-discipline and self-control. Yeah. So there was a rule that if you're going to change the location, if you're mm -hmm. going to go to somebody else's house and you had told me that you were going to so-and-so's house, mm -hmm. you first come home and report, report that you're going yes. and then go to the next one. Mm -hmm. What that did was teach accountability instead of teaching that they're going to be forbidden from doing something. Mm -hmm. So I know and they know that I have no problem with house B. Yes. But I was teaching just that skill mm -hmm. of if you're moving from house A, A to, to B, B you, have you need to, to come, come home first yes. and say it and then go. I now, get it. when a four-year-old is able to just do that, mm -hmm. then by the time they're 14, I can have an online conversation with them. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. And so then the other thing, I knew as we were growing up, again, technology is not just about the phone. It's just that the phone has come 
too close now. It's yeah, right in the bedroom. Exactly. At that point in time, there was something like the PlayStation, mm -hmm. which was where all the gaming used to happen. Mm -hmm. Now, what that used to do is occupy a child's time. They actually forget that they had There's something, something to else do. to do. So it changes focus, it, you know, all of that. And so I knew, number one, we had no peers in our house. Yeah. Just as a rule, not interested, it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. You can go play in somebody else's house. Yes. But then that way I'm able to curtail the time you're going to be in somebody else's house. Mm -hmm. So just by choice, I said it's not going to come to the house. Mm -hmm. So when it came to, are you ready for a gadget or not? One of my prime indicators is, are you desperate for that gadget or not? So it started with, why do you need a phone? You know, because every child will come and say, I want a phone, I want a phone. Exactly. Why do you want a phone? Mm -hmm. I want to call my friends. Mm -hmm. I want to SMS my friends. Mm -hmm. I want you to call me mm -hmm. and find me. Yes. No problem. Only mm -hmm. can do it. Yes, exactly. So I started because those are the reasons they give. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So what I did was meet that reason mm -hmm. and give it. Yes, the Muli Kamuizi. The Muli Kamuizi, because mm -hmm. it's doing everything that it yes, needs to do. Yes, that they have asked for. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, then they came to the time of airtime. Okay. Who's going to feed that phone? Mm -hmm. So then there's responsibility for you to meet this expense. Mm -hmm. So do I never pay for chores, by the way. Yes, I never house give allowances chores. for house chores because no. nobody will pay you to clean your own house when you grow up. Yes. So it had to be an activity that adds value. Mm -hmm. So throughout the journey, it was about trying to imagine the adult they're going to be and how I want them to interact with their gadgets at that time mm -hmm. and helping them and guiding them interact with them at this time. Yeah. So when I notice that my kid doesn't need their phone, really they don't have too much to say on the phone, it's over there, mm -hmm. or they don't need whatever, we have other activities and that's the other thing, parents don't provide alternatives. Yes. When I put a board game on the table, mm -hmm. we all have fun playing it, we forget that we had our phones. So when you provide alternatives, you don't even have to keep saying, no, don't use your phone. Mm -hmm. It is when they're idle that they will need the phone. So what I did was slowly by slowly, when it came to getting into social media, it's you get onto social media on my phone. Okay. So you want access. <laughs> and you're saying that there's nothing to hide. Uh -huh. Then you will access your social media yes, on my phone. My phone. Mm -hmm. Now what that does, not because I'm going to pry into it, I just want to see whether my kid has values enough to hide or reveal to the parent. Okay. And then if something pops up, like you're saying, mm -hmm. internet has become the things will just pop up. Yes. People will post things that really you ought not to be seeing, but they have been posted. Mm -hmm. So when pornographic images were posted on a group mm -hmm. that one of my children was on, mm -hmm. it was easy to say, okay, great, you're not the one who has posted this, but here it is. What do you do with it? And part of the thing that included what to do with it, mm -hmm. besides deleting the image, mm -hmm. it's already been seen. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing is, because it was on somebody else's phone, she didn't get to see it. Okay. So we are the ones who knew that it was pornographic. She only got to hear that it was pornographic. So mm -hmm. delete the image, mm -hmm. but then question, why are you hanging out with such people? Even if it is online, how are you choosing your friends? What are the values and characters, characteristics that you want in mm -hmm. your friends? We're actually getting out of time. Mm -hmm. I need to get back to you to give us our, your parting shots. Yes. But I need to hear also from Pastor, when you bought your children phones and people buy their children phones even at that age, are you able to check and access what is it they're doing with this phone? Or after you have realized they are old enough, they can use the phone, you just let them be responsible and you never bother what you need to do, what they're doing with the phones? My phone has no password. Okay. Uh, neither do their phone also has any password. Mm -hmm. And uh, in in so doing means they can access my phone. Okay. And also I can access their phone. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is something that can be used. Whoever, whichever phone you get first, you can use. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, for communication, mm -hmm. especially if you want to communicate mm -hmm. or I want to communicate, and my phone is somehow slightly away, then we can do this freely. Yeah. I think that's perfect. That's very nice. I'll be coming back to you to give me your parting shot. I need to hear your parting shot. And uh, uh, like I had mentioned, there are children who actually are able to download or access things from the net, and they have learned even how to delete the history. Uh, parents may not know that this is basically what their children are doing. So they're able to check and say, ah, they're, they're only watching about some books and some minor games, you know, because the child is about to delete the history. I don't know if you have had any such kind of experiences with children and their parents probably have no idea that this is what they do. So you'll address parents and tell them what they need to look out for. 
Because if I am only innocent and checking back in the evening, ah, they only watch this and this, yet the history has been deleted, I may just be sitting comfortably thinking, everything is perfect. Please give us your parting shot. I would say that parents need to understand that if they don't have a relationship with their children, mm -hmm. their children have a relationship with somebody. Okay. That's the bottom line. So in terms of what to look out for, the telltale signs will not just be on the phone itself. It's mm -hmm. not about being a spy and looking for answers on the phone. It will be looking at the demeanor and the behavior of the child. Now, if you're not close, back again to the relationship, if you're mm -hmm. not close to your child, you won't even know when they're keeping their distance from you mm -hmm. because distance is usual. Okay. But when you have a relationship with your child and then suddenly they're withdrawing, then you can question the withdrawing. So I don't know how else to look out for signs in the absence of relationship. Because when there's no relationship, then you don't know. Anything goes. And checking their phones, yes, one day you might find something. But many times you might not. Because for every trick the parents discover, there's somebody who's creating something for kids to go around it. Okay. That's how it has always been. It has been that way 100 years ago. It's going to be that way 100 years to come. For everything that the parents discover, children will always discover a way to go around it. And it's not changing on the <laughs> digital world. <laughs> yes. So in terms of what do you do as a parent, I'd say go back to building a relationship. And on that firm foundation, knowing what your values are and on that basis of that relationship, then you can start developing a plan for who you want your child to be. Is it too late if your teenager is already doing it? No. You can always start from where you are now. Go back and tell them, I love you, or whatever it is that you want to tell them, however it is that you want, but build that relationship. relationship. Yes. And then on that foundation, you can start discovering these other things. Good. Yeah. Pastor? Good. Um, more so, we need to discipline children as they grow because uh, the training that you give to your child, that is what the child will be when they are grown up. And the best society to do so is in school, also in church, and at home. And also, we have to know that children does not belong to the parents. The children, once they are born, and they belong to the society. And also the society should take charge of how to govern and how to control the children that the Lord has allowed to be born in the world and in the society where they are. And that's why the church is playing a bigger role in disciplining and instilling discipline in the hearts of people and especially in the hearts of children as they grow up. Okay. Thank you so much, Shalom, for coming. It has thank really you. been good to host you. And thank you also, Akantela, for being with us in the show. Thank you, viewer, also for watching. It has been really, really lovely. I hope you have been able to have such an educative moment. Uh, one thing that is a take home for me today is that parents, we are not just monitors. We are more th of mentors. We are supposed to be friends and build a stronger relationship with our children other than just monitoring what they're doing all the time and being watchdogs on them. Thank you so, so very much for watching. My name is Betty Akuku. I have been your host. See you next time.